The troubleshooting job aid was developed to help technicians resolve technical issues efficiently and effectively. Without it, finding the root cause of an issue on a trouble or service call can be very time consuming and frustrating. However, this frustration pales in comparison to what a technician and customer both feel on repeat TCs. Hi, I'm Casey, and in this video we're going to talk about preventing repeat trouble calls. On every trouble and service call, you must follow all of the steps in the TJA as they're written. The purpose of this video is to point out a few commonly overlooked things which can often result in repeat TCs. Checking signal path integrity may sound like a complicated process, but checking that cables and connectors are in good condition and working order is usually quick and easy. Not only can you check components as you run limit scans, you can also check components quickly during the final quick check section of the TJA. Some of the common issues you might encounter that result in intermittent or complete signal loss include corroded connectors, nicked coax cable, coax cable with nails or staples through it, kinked cable, old cable, unapproved parts, customer altered cable, and crimped connectors. Taking the few additional minutes to look for potential future problems not only helps the customer, but it also helps prevent repeat TCs and improves your overall metrics. When you consider what can happen with a customer system, it makes sense that most issues are related to the signal path. The customer is not likely to do this. And most customers wouldn't put their receiver in a place like this. But customers do tend to do things like this. And accidents like this can often happen. The customer's cables might go for a soak, and things can go wrong in the middle of redecorating. In addition to customer-caused issues, weather and time can also take a toll on exterior components. By taking a few additional minutes to replace and fix issues, customers will continue to receive excellent, uninterrupted service and can avoid installs that are susceptible to repeat TCs. Let's run through some examples of signal path related issues you might see in the field and see how long it usually takes to address them. Corroded connectors usually take about two minutes to replace and retorque. A nicked cable would require a new cable run. This only takes about 10 minutes to complete. Also, think about a cable run that goes through an area that is difficult to access, like a crawl space, basement, or attic. Taking the additional time to check the signal path is a key component to providing a quality customer experience. Next time you're on a job, think of how checking the signal path thoroughly will impact the customer's experience and your metrics. Taking a few extra minutes on the job will prevent issues from happening in the future that can be easily avoided. Taking a little bit of extra time to do the job right is also a matter of personal and professional pride. Take care of the customer and do a quality job. If someone else came to your home and did a lazy job installing your appliances or cut corners fixing your car, think of how you'd feel. That little extra bit of effort can go a really long way. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.